Hi, this is Zach Mead with US Child Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Monday the 5th of February, starting off with the S&P, which is making good progress within this uh, very steep rising October trend channel. We uh, were hoping that 48.40 would hold at the floor of the channel last week, and it did, which was uh, obviously very comforting. Current situation is that we're through the recent resistance, 49.30 and above that, looking for up to uh, 51.20 as soon as the end of next month, and obviously that could be sooner, but we're being conservative with the upside scenario. On the downside, uh, 4840 again, and then maybe 47, or rather 4790 uh, to 4800, the old December, January resistance. Maybe on to the stocks, and a few uh, frequent flyers have uh, returned to us, which is uh, normally a good thing, as it means that the shares have uh, gone up on the call. Here we've got a rising trend channel base at App Tech Payments and uh, W-shaped reversal. Just need to break that neckline area around uh, $2.30, above that looking for $3.50 as soon as the end of this month, given the current rate of progress. Ideally, we stay on the right side of the uh, 190 area, which was that little peak that we had in the middle of January. Moving on to another uh, bright spark at the moment, uh, Biorestorative, and uh, here you can see that uh, the shares have basically touched our initial target there, the top of that broadening triangle from September, the uh, target there around uh, the $3 mark, about $3. We're looking for the shares to uh, step up another gear and um, head up to as high as $4.50 by the end of next month, but obviously that depends on an end of day close through the three dollar band moving along to a stock which is also uh, on the front foot and uh, giving cause for uh, celebration perhaps uh, here we've got um, bullish divergence here with uh, the lower lows for late january early february at uh, bruges energy uh, but uh, the uh, higher rsi trace and that suggests that uh, break of recent resistance through two dollars fifty should be enough to give us a reversal. That was also the um, support area on the way down. And target here as high as $5, above $2.50 by the end of next month, which would take the shares back to where they were back in December. Moving along to a stock which has uh, had a, already had a pretty decent ride over the recent past, which is Dave. And Dave, we've got a rising trend channel in place since August. Top of the channel there, heading towards $32. And above uh, the uh, $20 mark, which is basically the uh, recent resistance on the way up, looking for 32 as soon as the end of next month within that 2023 rising trend channel. Next up is uh, a new name, and uh, here we'll see how we are doing with Fly Exclusive. Uh, strange chart, but a rising trend channel based on the less, closing above the 50-day moving average around $8.70 on Friday, and we're looking for up to $13 by the end of next month within that rising trend channel from back in, uh, well, basically the early part of October. A situation which is also uh, looking decent at the moment is... Uh, intelligent bio solutions and here we've got a rising trend channel base we've broken above the uh, 50 day moving average quite well in fact with a uh, gap so it's a bear trap gap reversal in fact you could argue that it's an island gap reversal because we gapped down uh, going into the lows recently uh, that's a strong charting setup and that suggests that we could head up to as high as 15 dollars by the end of next month the only catch there is that we need to get through the six dollar band uh, on an end of day close basis which hopefully we'll do early this week backed by that rising uh, 50 day moving average next up is uh, another new name and uh, here we've got uh, copin corporation unfull gap to the upside uh, after a hammer candle on thursday R top of that rising trend channel from september heading towards the uh, two dollars eighty level and we're looking for that while we're above recent resistance on the way down around the two dollar twenty mark so a little setup there nice little setup there and it's interesting the way that the shares have uh, bounced very sharply off the 50-day line uh, indicating cumulative strength one of the more famous names in the uh, or on the american stock market is uh, meta and here we managed to hit the top or break through the top of that rising trend channel that we had the red one there from uh, the early part of last year around 445 dollars Above that, we can uh, upgrade the uh, ascent for the shares, uh, that black rising trend channel from back in June, heading towards $530, and we're looking for that while we hold above the $445 mark. If you're trying to sharpen up the stop loss there, it could be up to $450, but basically that then ties in 
with Friday's support. Given a lot of current coverage to the next stock, uh, Minim, and it's uh, delivered the goods in terms of uh, heading to our initial target here around $5.70. About $5.70, we're looking at the top of that rising trend channel from the early part of last year, as high as $12 by the end of next month. And uh, very nice to see that stock deliver the goods, especially with the unfilled gap to the upside that we had midweek last week. On to the last three, and uh, one uh, first starting off with Mountain Cross, which we've covered a lot here. Bit of a rocky ride, but a rising trend channel here nonetheless. The uh, floor of the channel there level with the 50-day uh, moving average around $13, but uh, at least in terms of the upside, we're looking for the shares to remain above the latest gap down at $15. Above that, we're looking for $32 by the end of next month. Punchy call, but let's see if... Uh, Mountain Crest can come up with the goods. On to Tyra, which is otherwise known as uh, Tyra Biosciences. Here you can see the uh, unfilled gap to the upside through recent resistance around $15.80. The longer we stay above $15.80, the greater the chance of a move up to the top of that rising trend channel from July, as high as $21 by the end of this month. Finishing off on a relatively quiet note, but one which hopefully will uh, deliver the goods for Universe Pharmaceuticals. Here, a rising trend channel base, top of the channel there from back in August, heading for $4.50, and we're looking for that while we remain above recent support, around $2 above the rising 50-day line as well, and uh, $4.50 hopefully by the end of next month, back by that latest bounce for the RSI on the neutral 50 level. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.